So I just wanted to make a video because I'm nervous as fuck. <laughs> so I'm going to the Astrology Association's Christmas party <laughs> right now. They're having a Christmas party before the lecture. And um, there's people walking by. I get like bad self-conscious when I talk to the camera when people are watching. But like, I don't know why I'm so self-conscious because I can be talking to somebody on FaceTime right now. Like, they wouldn't know the difference. And if I was really talking to somebody on FaceTime right now, I wouldn't feel so self-conscious. So, that says a lot about your perception on things. But back to the back to the point. Um, so, I only went to one astrology lecture so far. Um, so, this will be my second. And there's just so much to say that uh, speaking on, like, your north node and how hard it is to do things that your north node wants you to do because it's very i'm very i may seem like an outgoing person and i may act like an outgoing person but deep down like that is not me it, i have a hard time doing that and when i'm in like real life situations i'm usually like the quiet one um it's very I don't know I just I don't ease I don't feel comfortable around people easily like it takes me a long time to like warm up to people and feel comfortable it's just the initial like going like it it's just the initial like step like okay you're going like just go once I'm there like I'm a little it's a little easier for me but it's just hard like it's hard it's hard like going here like what what am I nervous about what's entering my head I'm nervous because I don't know who I should talk to. I don't want to be like that awkward person just standing there like eating food. Like looking around with like a fucking dumbass fucking smirk on his face. Like hoo, 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 hoo. nobody's talking to me. But, hoo, 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 hoo. <laughs> but then again like why? Who? Why? Why not? Like because if you are standing like that somebody may want to come up and talk to you because they see that you're free like not everybody's thinking that you're stupid courtney you know like you got to get over these fears that your south node i mean that your north node puts you through because it's not going to be comfortable to go to your life purpose like being involved in organizations is what my north node is all about it's in the 11th house in capricorn so this what i'm doing is literally following my life purpose your birth chart kind of leaves you breadcrumbs and you got to follow the breadcrumbs and see where it leads and this is where my birth chart led me um not just and you know not just your birth chart you need to do research into your birth chart and then the ideas come to you like your birth chart doesn't say fucking written on your code oh you should join this astrology association no it takes time and practice to know what it means to know what planets what comments what alignments in which houses and which sign what it means for you and it's up for interpretation whatever feels right to you so yeah i mean i just i'm making a video because like it it's it's, it's making me a little more comfortable. Making these YouTube videos has really helped me a lot in, like, being more, um, being more, what's the word? Not self-conscious. What's the opposite of self-conscious? Being more confident in my speech, being more confident in my ideas, because I was always second-guessing my ideas before. I always had to second-guess my ideas. But now that I'm learning to be more independent and learning to be an adult, like I'm literally learning to be an adult at the end of the day. Like <laughs> this is your adulthood. Like you need to, your parents can't like bring you around like and have you do like, you know, I mean, my parents never really did that anyway, but <laughs> Capricorn shit. <laughs> no, no hard feelings, mom and dad. You know, I love you. If you ever watch this, <laughs> like we all go through our troubles. <laughs> um, I love my parents. Like, I don't ever want anybody to think that I don't. I love my parents. I love all my exes. And that's the truth. Like, I love all of my exes. I never want to put any dirt on anybody's name. Except for my fucking gym teachers. They really made me feel like a piece of shit all throughout school. <laughs> Fuck you, Mr. G. <laughs> Fuck you, Mrs. Green. Wow, they both have G's for the fucking first last name. Yeah, sounds kind of gay to me. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. 
all my gym teachers were so mean to me okay i need to stop like <laughs> those aren't my thoughts stop thinking about past memories courtney you're making new memories don't bring the baggage of your past into this new place that's how you got to be talking to yourself like you know you got to get a little crazy sometimes you really do i feel like now that i've been making these videos and i have an excuse to talk i feel like this it's a good thing for you to do like to talk to yourself people may like people try to say that talking to yourself is like a crazy trait like a real conversation too not just little mumbles no actually have a conversation with yourself like why is that considered crazy sometimes you need to hear your ideas out in the physical to see if they are rational thoughts or not hmm 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 that's a good idea huh courtney good job good job see i'm talking out loud you gotta talk out loud <laughs> i'm like talking like people are no I, all right never mind yeah so so yeah this is gonna be like my vlogs like i guess i'll just have a section on my channel for vlogs i'll have my educational videos then i'll have my vlogs then i'll have like my instagram stories i just am trying to put as much content on my channel as possible because i need to reach a thousand subscribers i need to reach a certain amount of watch hours in order to monetize my channel and i've spoken on this the youtube censorship is fucking crazy and it's only going to get worse as the new year as like we go into the new year so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna do a whole bunch of shit on this channel i don't like like people try to put creators in a box and be like oh you could if you have a youtube channel you just have to focus on one thing like one topic like because I'd be reading, like, websites, like, how to be a successful YouTuber. How to have a successful channel on YouTube. And that's, like, one of the things they, oh, that's one of the bullet points, like, always. Oh, you know, have a genre. Stick in your fuck, stay in your box. Don't come out of that box. You want to be consistent. Nah, fuck you, bro. Like, I'll post whatever I want on my channel. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> I got my Uranus in the fucking 10th house, bitch. You tell me what to do, I'll do the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta play reverse psychology with people with uranus and whatever house <laughs> the 10th house um yeah so that's funny so yeah <sighs> i'm just nervous okay yeah so i made um stuffed bread for tonight because it's a christmas party and they said bring food and i'm like yo i'm gonna make my famous stuffed bread because i make banging ass stuffed bread and I made a broccoli and garlic one with cheese. So fucking good. Well, because I have no job right now, I tried to save a few bucks and get my cheese from Aldi's. And it fucking does not taste the same and it tastes like shit. And I'm like, yo, fuck. I, I was like, yo, I'm going to win the hearts of these people through my stuffed bread. Because I know my stuffed bread's banging. But now that it's I have that gross ass cheese, I'm like, oh fuck! You blew it! <laughs> Fucking Adam Sandler voice. You blew it! That's what I've been thinking, like all the fuck. Because I tried a piece, you know, to make sure it tastes good, and I'm like, oh fuck! <laughs> But that's just my fucking Capricorn Saturn. Even though, no, it actually really does taste like shit. It doesn't taste bad. If somebody hasn't tasted my real stuff bread in the past, they would like this. I'm just, like, you know, comparing it to how it usually is. That's what people, that's what fucking heavy Capricorn energy be doing. Maybe, like, this is horrible. Nobody's gonna like it. But no, like, it doesn't taste that bad. It just doesn't taste as good as your original. I know everybody cares so much. Like, if you got, if, if anybody is still watching right now, like, thank you. You're a fucking real one. <laughs> because I'm just talking bullshit right now. Because I'm nervous. I'm nervous to go in. I'm not nervous, actually. No, I'm not. <laughs> Gotta, you know, fake it till you make it. <laughs> I'm not nervous at all. No, this is actually very exciting. This is very exciting. I am beginning a whole new life path. 
I'm about to meet my family. Like, I want my goal is to make these people who I connect with, like my family, like my second family, because th that's my life purpose. That's what I'm meant to do, and I feel a calling towards it. I want to make people like that are on the same like path as me. Like, I want, I just want to surround, be surrounded by people that I vibe with, whether it be in real life or the internet. still the full moon last full moon of the decade in gemini it was at its peak at like 12 12 12 yesterday a.m well today technically today you know what i mean but yeah <sighs> very exciting very nerve-wracking but a good nerve-wracking when you feel fear when you feel fear when you fear when you feel anxiety you you just gotta know that like that means like you're about to be doing some strong ass shit that means you're about to be doing some real shit that's like aligned with your purpose because nothing should feel like you know a breeze Where somebody pulled like right next to me so i'm like oh let me just uh drink uh, a bunch of my water so i am uh not talking to a uh, camera part of them i'm so awkward <laughs> look at me i'm like oh let me go uh, look around my car uh oh what's down here <laughs> you know when like you're stuck at a light and like somebody you don't want and you maybe like just cut someone off in front of you and now you're stuck right next to him at a light and you don't want to like may I make eye contact so you're like start looking around your car like oh what's down here oh, that's what i'm doing right now <laughs> hmm what's this say oh okay hmm what's over here let's see <laughs> all right i'm gonna stop um i'll make a video after I come back from the party. Let you know how it all went. Oh my god, what an amazing fucking time tonight was. Like, amazing! Amazing! I'm so fucking happy I fucking joined this place. Like, so happy. So, I walk in. It was in a smaller room this time. The room that I went in the first time I went to one of these lectures, it was in a huge room, like mad people. I think it was just because a, prof a real professional, maybe popular astrologer was coming, so they needed a bigger room. But this room, it was like nice and cozy, like really Christmassy. It had like green carpet. They were having the Christmas party, so there was good food. Like. These people are such fucking good company. They're all like mad rich people. And they're mad rich because they know how to use astrology. Like, <laughs> at, at the end of the day, like, you know. Um, so I went in. I felt like I went in. Um, somebody right off the bat was like, oh, our new member. And they pulled someone over. They're like, this is Courtney. Courtney Days. And I'm like, oh my god. My heart is literally about to explode. <laughs> Like, you remember my name? <laughs> about to cry. No, but it, like, oh my god. It's just like a sense of community and like just genuine people. You can just tell they're genuine people. And so I made my plate of food. Um, I make my way over to a seat. I see this older guy sitting by himself. So I go over and sit next to him. I'm like, hi, I'm Courtney. Like, Gotta activate this fucking North Node. Go fucking introduce yourself to people, Courtney. Don't be, like, antisocial. So when I get to talking to him, such a fucking nice guy. Such a nice guy. Talking to him how, like, you know, this is my only second time. I just really started getting into astrology this year. He, like, you know, was really happy to hear that. Um, he's asking me questions about my chart and stuff. Like, just a really down-to-earth guy. Just having a conversation with him. And turns out he was like the president of the CT um, Astrology Association like fucking long ago. Like he like 
he's been a member for like 30 years and he was the president at one point like just mad nice talking about like past life um regression and stuff like that and how we believe in reincarnation and i made him laugh like i had a real leo moment like <laughs> i have no leo really in my chart but like i had a mad leo moment i told him one of my memes that i put on my instagram i said it's funny that you bring up um past lives i just wrote a meme online that said yeah i didn't believe in reincarnation the last time either <laughs> And he rolled fucking laughing. I was like, yo, I am the sun. I should be a Leo sun, bro. <laughs> oh, man, no, it's just, oh. And I got talking, there's this guy, Mike. He's a, he's a little older, too, but not, not really, like, I don't know, maybe, like, in 40s, 50s. And this was his second time, too. So me and him, like, joined, like, around the same time. So we sparked up a conversation. Um... He, and he told me that he went to one of these classes and he's now studying under this certain person and I need like now I know like I really need to get a mentor and he said the lady he is studying under like only charges him like 30 bucks an hour which like for a teacher like that's good you know you don't like people are like oh my god they charge money Duh. You know, you, time is not fucking free. If you are just going to give yourself away to people for free, like, no, no. You weed out people. Because if you are going to get used for free, then people that aren't really interested in astrology could get involved because they want something free. No, you need to pick out the fucking, like, people that aren't that serious because anybody will do anything if it's free. And by charging people, and I do not fucking knock anybody for charging anybody anything. I think that's a good fucking tactic to do. And it's cheap. That's not that bad. Because if you go to a class, like classes could be like $175 just for a class. <sighs> but yeah, so, and he gave me a bunch of, oh, and so they started asking me about my chart and I'm like well here you want to look at it it's my background on my phone and they're like oh wow that's cool and they were all like whoa you have a awesome chart one of the guys was like yo I really would like to study this <laughs> and I'm like y you are welcome to here I will send you my fucking chart <laughs> give me all the fucking love you can um but yeah just oh ju just a great fucking time just a great fucking time this guy Elfie talked Alfie and literally the dude Alfie that was the speaker today was the first one that created a astrology online course he was the first one that had that ever did that create a astrology online course like I forget sometimes that like we are in the beginning stages of the age of Aquarius of fucking like internet learning and shit like that so it was awesome to see like the OG the OG of the business like it was really it was I'm just so fucking honored like I really am I'm honored to have been in the presence of them they're awesome they're fucking awesome people the town even the town that it's in the town is so fucking beautiful bro like the vibes of just the town alone when I enter in it is like awesome it's like this old like not old but like I don't know just like typical fucking I don't know if I want to say the state I'm from people probably already know but I don't know just beautiful just fucking beautiful I don't have much room on my phone so I don't want to talk about it too much but I just want to let everybody know it went fucking amazing and I love it and this is my vlog like these are my vlogs if nobody like <laughs> I'm not gonna be at first I was very like timid to make vlogs because you know my fucking Chiron and my fifth house is like nobody wants to hear you a bunch of like you know whatever I don't want to get into it but yeah I don't give a fuck if you care or not this is going to be good all right I'm gonna stop talking goodbye